it's one of the best build and custom buildings I've seen in this simulation so far from a freeware or even payware. Look at it. Hello Flight Sim fans, welcome back to the Practically Geek channel. And today in this video I'm going to be showing you something a tiny bit different, not, not so much um, <laughs> drastically different, but uh, just a smaller, smaller airport. This is a, another freeware file available from flightsim.to and it's a joint collaboration between Sinus JC and Garfield. It is Middenmere Aerodrome in the Netherlands and I'm going to be showing you what the guys have done in this freeware scenery. So as I say, it's quite a small aerodrome, this one, something um, a bit tinier, even smaller than the, my Johnson uh, Johnson Creek video, in fact. Um, as I say, it's based in the Netherlands, and it's got one grass strip of uh, a small one, um, about 400 meters, although um, I believe in 2012, uh, maybe that may have changed. Um, zero five and two three the runways here are around 600 meters apparently and they only serve ultralight aircraft um, I've chose to put my ultralight kind of um, I think that's like the dynamic designs or whatever they're called the small ultralight there anyway down on this airfield we won't be doing any flying but you can see the difference in the the grass areas here, the sort of the kick around there, the turn around or the run up you can see there on the end, and then a little small square down on the far end there as well. And the planes will run up, the aircraft will kind of taxi along this small strip between the brown area and the green area. And then under this wind turbine you'll see that the auto gym buildings, that's where the hangars are, and a small small control tower so the guys uh, Sinus JC and Garfield have done wonders I believe and I've seen a couple of pictures and it does look spectacular in fact we're going to be taking a look at their freeware scenery and let's waste no more time and load that in for you all to enjoy So welcome back to Middenmere Aerodrome here in the Netherlands and we are loaded into Sinus JC and Garfield's freeware scenery and we're going to have a little look around the aerodrome now and see what changes we can see. So we can see that the grass strip has got some custom markings. Um, the Guys have also added in some uh, waypoints so you can do the proper base legs and proper approach procedures or circuits if you like to in the smaller aircraft. But you can see they've added in these lovely custom markers here to better show the ex you know the the runway um, surroundings and the obviously the perimeter and uh, restrictions and where you can go etc. So that's really really nice. And the big difference in the scenery is obviously the auto gen buildings have all been replaced by custom buildings. And these buildings do make use of PBR materials. We've got some custom fencing, um, animated flags, and several uh, signs. And we've also got a little bit of interior to look at as well. And look how amazing that looks. It looks so, so good. The guys have done wonders on this small little aerodrome. And I can imagine this is going to be a, a really good one to download if you're from the immediate area or you actually do fly and use this um, this particular aerodrome for your flying school. So you can see some perimeter fencing, some static aircraft and cars as well, and then all the custom signage here as well. Let's have a look uh, inside the hangars. Got some static aircraft in here too. The hangars look really amazing, by the way. And again, performance in this um, freeware file is is great. There's there's no slowdowns, there's no stutters or drop of FPS. And look at that. Even that looks amazing. You got some little battle drums and 
We've got this lovely, lovely windows, by the way, and you can see out of them as well. Sometimes you can get scenery on Flight Simulator that you can't actually see from the inside out. <laughs> it's, it's a bit weird, but glad to say that's not uh, the case here. The buildings themselves, really, really great material. The texture and on it is really class. It's great. Look at that. Look at the paneling and the reflections. And some more custom groundwork here and more buildings behind here. But let's take a look at the real star of this show because I believe this tower is probably the prettiest I've seen. The building itself is so, so detailed. Look at that. It's one of the best building, custom buildings I've seen in this simulation so far from a freeway or even payway. Look at it. It's even got the custom banner on it as well showing the real airfield and we do have a small amount of interior look at that we've got tables and chairs and look at that look, I mean the fact that you can get really really close in as well and these small aerodromes especially if your aircraft are actually taxiing out along this pathway as well you will get to see some objects close up so the fact that the guys have made use of PBR and really put time and effort into this building is really really great as i say this is isn't one of the you know the biggest it's it's the, i think it's the smallest um i wouldn't even class it as an airport with an aerodrome airstrip air park airfield <laughs> um well it's the smallest i've featured and so there's obviously it's not it's not gonna be a massively long video but i will be taking a look at those uh it does say on the description night lighting, so I do want to take a look at what they've done with the lighting around these uh, buildings. So let's rewind those clocks to 1 a.m. and take a look at the night lighting. And look at that. That is stunning. Again, one of the best I've seen. It's it's a small little aerodrome and you know I you know, I do actually have, and I'll be honest, I'll tell you there's a uh, another um airfield that Sinus JC has done and I will that is on my list of uh, freeway airports to look at so I will be taking a look at that very very soon so I've got high hopes after seeing this one uh, and the night lighting is gorgeous it's really great it is dominated by the red uh, warning lights off these uh, wind turbines but if you take a look at the like the likes of the interior lighting from the hangars and also the exterior lighting it looks really, really great. We do have these um, these uh, SDK SDK rather limitation lightings. These are obviously to meant to be f looked at from a high, you know, high up. So we do have these floating orbs everywhere again, but they don't impede. Look at the lighting inside this uh, control tower and cafe area. It's stunning. It's really, really great. Let's just have a look at it. What it looks like just from a distance. The actual surrounding lighting in this area of the Netherlands is absolutely insane. Anyway, <laughs> look at that. We do have a lot of wind turbines in this area. But it all adds up to be a really, really great environment to be flying in. So that's uh, that's it for this one, guys. This has been Mid and Mir Aerodrome in the Netherlands, and I must say, it was stunning. It's a small little aerodrome, but there's so much character. That control tower is one of, if not the best, custom building I've seen so far. It's really, really great. I love it. It's got so much character in that, and I will be doing some flights some circuits around this small aerodrome because it's it's really really amazing if you have enjoyed this video please give me a big like a big thumb thumbs up it does help my channel grow it does help my videos get uh, acknowledged 
and if you are feeling generous please consider subscribing to the practically geek channel i have more of these videos on my uh, video library i've got more payware reviews i've got loads more freeware reviews and i have some flight tours from different locations around the world thank you for watching this video i will see you again very very soon